So let's consider the series RC circuit. A series RC circuit is a circuit in which the passive elements, which are the resistor and the capacitor, are connected in series with a supply voltage. So we have this to be the AC supply voltage and then we have the passive elements that is the resistor in series with the capacitor and then we have current I flowing through the circuit. Now since the two passive elements are connected in series then we have the same value of current flowing through each of them. Now let's consider the current flowing through the resistor to be IR and also the current flowing through the capacitor to be IC. Then in that case, we have I equals IR and that is also equal to IC. Also let's consider the voltage across the resistor to be VR and the voltage across the capacitor to be VC. Then according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, the sum of the voltages dropped across the loop, that is VR plus VC is equal to the source voltage, that is V. Notice that the voltages and currents here are all phases. So how do we find the impedance of this circuit and also the phase angle between the voltage and the current. Now let's consider the phasor diagram of this series RC circuit. So we have this to be the positive x axis and also this to be the negative y axis. Now since we have the same value of current that is I flowing through the two passive elements, let's consider I to be the reference phasor. So we are going to consider I to lie on the positive x axis. So this is I. And then considering the case of a resistor, the current is said to be always in phase with the voltage. So the voltage across the resistor, which is VR, is also going to lie on the positive x axis so that it will be in phase with the current i so we have this to be vr and then also considering the case of the capacitor the current is said to lead the voltage by 90 degrees so in that sense the voltage across the capacitor, which is VC, is going to lag the current I. So that is going to lie on the negative Y axis, so that it lags the current I by 90 degrees. So that is the voltage VC. And then we have this to be the resultant phasor, that is the supply voltage. And then we have this to be the phase angle between the current and the voltage. So considering this phasor diagram, you realize that we have V square equals VR square plus VC square. Now according to Ohm's law, V is equal to I times Z, so we have IZ square and that is equal to IR all square plus IXC all square. So this becomes I square Z square equals I square R square plus I square XC square. I square is common to all of the terms, so we cancel out I square and then we are left with Z square equals R square plus XC square. 
so to find the value of z that is given by the square root of r square plus xc square and this is the impedance of the rc circuit also to find the phase angle that is given by tan inverse of xc divided by r and that is the phase angle between the current and the supply voltage also we have a relation that is z equals r minus jxc that is considering the impedance of the circuit expressed in the rectangular form also one important thing you need to take notice of is that in a series rc circuit even though the current leaves the voltage is not going to be by 90 degrees meaning that it's going to be less than 90 degrees so having this in mind let's try an example on this so considering this example from the circuits below find a the reactance and impedance of the circuit b the current in the circuit c the phase angle between the current and the source voltage now we have this circuit comprising of a resistor connected in series with a capacitor we have the resistance to be 30 ohms and also the capacitance to be 200 over pi microfarad and then they are connected to a 200 volt 50 hertz supply so from the circuit we have the resistor r to be 30 ohms we have the capacitor having capacitance 200 over pi microfarad and then we have the source voltage to be 200 volts and then the frequency to be 50 hertz now we are asked to find a the reactance and impedance of the circuit now because this is a series rc circuit the reactance is going to be the capacitive reactance therefore the capacitive reactance xc is giving us 1 over 2 pi fc so we have 1 divided by 2 pi times f which is 50 hertz so 50 and then times c which is 200 over pi microfarad so that is the same as 200 over pi times 10 exponent negative 6 and then that gives 50 ohms therefore we have xc to be 50 ohms also we are asked to find the impedance of the circuit so the impedance of the circuit is given by z equals r minus jxc negative jxc simply because we have the reactance to be capacitive so we have the value of r which is 30 ohms minus jxc we have xc to be 50 so this is the impedance of the circuit now let's convert this from the rectangular form to the polar form so we are going to have 58.310 polar negative 59.036 so we have the impedance to be 58.310 ohms and then we have the phase angle to be negative 59.036 degrees b we are asked to find the current in the circuit so the current in the circuit is given by the value of the supply voltage divided by the impedance of the circuit so we have the supply voltage to be 200 
divided by the impedance that is 58.310 and that gives 3.43 amperes so this is the current in the circuit and then C we are going to find the phase angle between the current and the voltage now from A we had the phase angle to be negative 59.036 degrees you can also use the formula tan inverse of xc divided by r and then we have xc to be 50 now considering this you realize that this becomes negative 50 so divided by 30 and then we are going to have the same value as this so the phase angle is negative 59.036 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye